You gotta love the great outdoors, right? The peace and quiet, getting away from it all. And for me, food just tastes better cooked over a nice campfire. You don't get that in the city. No, this, this is ideal. The ideal life right here. But real life is a bit different. In the real world, we have our stressors, all of our errands to run, and of course, traffic to sit in. It seems tranquility can get lost. The good news is that you really can have the best of both worlds in one do-it-all vehicle, the Subaru Crosstrek. Hi, my name is Lauren McKay from Edmonds, where we're known as the car testing pros. We've teamed up with CarMax to help you find the right vehicle for your needs. With its interior and tech, the Crosstrek is just as much at home here as it is there. Let me show you what I mean. Check out this touchscreen. The basic system works fine, but the special sauce is that it has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which lets you directly access smartphone apps. It's pretty sweet. And it's super easy to plug in using this USB cable. When it's bumper to bumper, the Crosstrek's advanced driver assist system called EyeSight helps ease the strain with adaptive cruise control. It's a feature that lets you set a speed, then watches the car in front of you. It'll slow down or even come to a full stop. Now, you do, however, have to put your foot on the brake if you're stopped for more than a few seconds, but just click resume on the steering wheel and the car takes over again. Pretty neat, right? And it takes some of the frustration out of heavy traffic. It also has forward collision warning and automatic emergency braking, which means the car is monitoring the traffic ahead and will warn you or even try to stop if it senses a potential collision, like someone braking hard in front of you. Of course, it's hard to miss anything thanks to the big windows on this car. Check it out, visibility is awesome. Even to the rear, it's still a good view and the Crosstrek has big outside mirrors that improve visibility too. Okay, so we'll admit, the Crosstrek is slow even with the larger engine that we have in here. That doesn't matter much when you're sitting in traffic, but once it clears up, it takes a couple extra heartbeats to get up to speed. And if you're lucky enough to be getting on the freeway when it's clear, well, you won't be breaking any speed records at the top of the ramp either. So if you need more oomph, you'll want the bigger engine. Good news, the fuel economy is pretty good, especially with the standard all-wheel drive. And even if you opt for the larger engine, you're still not gonna take that big of a hit when it comes to fuel economy. Check out all this room in the back. There's plenty for your grocery run, midweek errands, or whatever else you need. Maybe it's not as big as some of its competitors, but it's not the smallest either. Check out the exterior. With all that black plastic, those chunky looking wheels, and how high it is off the ground. That's not just for looks, because the Crosstrek has an alter ego, one that loves the outdoors. See, if you wanna hit the open country road, the Crosstrek helps you do it with ease. All you have to do is let down these rear seats, boom, just like that. And look at all that space. It's not only wide, it's long, so longer items fit easy. For heavier things, kinda like this cooler, even though it's a little small, the low liftover height makes it easy so you don't throw out your back while trying to also get a cool drink. Kayaking or mountain biking your thing? Well, if you wanna stick something up on this roof, the Crosstrek also makes that easy. And even though there's good headroom on the inside that doesn't prevent you from getting up here, from the height and sticking stuff up top, trust me, I'm short. All right, we are all packed up. Let's hit the road. Okay, there are a lot of vehicles out there that can go camping, but not many like this, because once you get to the trailhead, you can just keep going. And now it's dual personality comes into focus. 
Yeah, the road's rougher here, but it's no problem for the Subi. Same comfy ride and same sharp steering. Since we're going slowly and responsibly, power isn't so much of a concern here. The Crosstrek also has paddles on the steering wheel, useful if you want to hold a certain gear to maintain constant torque for better traction in slippier conditions. But this is pretty lightweight, just a dirt road. The unique thing with the Crosstrek is that it can go beyond this into stuff that's rougher than you may think at first. Of course, it has all-wheel drive standard, like every Subaru, which is great when you need all the traction you can get. But if you want even more, then you want to use X-Mode, which enhances your off-road capability. One press of the button and the Crosstrek can handle deep sand, a steep hill, or other tough terrain. If you want to know more about X-Mode, check out the link below where we explain it all. And that ride height. The Crosstrek has more ride height than a Jeep Grand Cherokee. So when you come up on something like this, you can be confident that you'll be able to overcome it without rocks banging the bottom of the car. And we're here. Time to unload and relax. And that's how we made it here. And the Crosstrek made it so easy. Now, of course, there are other options for going camping. If you want to tow or you need a more aggressive vehicle for off-roading, then obviously the Crosstrek isn't for you. But if you're an occasional outdoorsy person who needs something that won't beat you up when you're in the city and wants something that's good on gas too, it's hard to find a better choice. And really, I mean, this scene, so peaceful, no traffic. <laughs> Um, you know what? You know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go um check that cargo space. Thanks for watching. Look, like and subscribe and leave a comment below. Bye!